Hi friends. In this video I am showing you, how to install MySQL Community Server on Windows 10. Go to MySQL website to download the installer. Open browser enter website dev.mysql.com slash downloads. Find web link in this video description. Click the link MySQL Community Server. Installer archive file available to you on this page, for installer MSI file, click on go to download page link. In general availability release tab, we can see the two MSI installer. First one is the web installer, second one is the offline installer. Select offline installer download button. If you have Oracle web account, you can download it by login with this login button. You can also create a new account with sign up button. Another option also available here, no thanks just start my download, click on it. Now the download will start. Go to the downloaded folder, double click on my SQL setup file. If you receive security warning pop up window, click on run. User account control message, select yes. Select setup type here. Setup type to use for the initial installation of MySQL. Many options available here. Developer default, server only, full, etc. If you select developer default, provides a setup type that includes the selected version of MySQL server and other MySQL tools related to MySQL development, such as MySQL workbench. Server only, provides a setup for the selected version of MySQL server without other products. If you select one, you will see the included product description in the right pane. Select developer default here, click next. Check requirement window, missing requirements showing here. Click next. If you get this kind of warning message, click on yes. Installation windows, select execute. Installation of each product has now started. Be patient until all products are installed. All products have been successfully installed. After installation, click next. Product configuration here. We need to configure three product here, next. Select the network type here. By default standalone server, just leave it, then next. Select server configuration type, you can select the server type in config type scroll down menu. Three options here development computer, server computer, and dedicated computer. Select one depends on your purpose. Default TCP IP port number is 3306, 
you can change it whatever you want, I leave it default here. If you need to customize the advanced and logging options, tick on show advanced and logging options, then click next. Select password authentication method here, next. Create MySQL root account password. If you need more MySQL user account, click add user button. Enter the username, host type, user role, and password. Click OK. Next. Configure MySQL Windows Service. By default Windows Service name MySQL 80, leave by defaults next. Logging options here. You can change logging file and path, if you want, next. Advanced options. Leave default, next. Apply configuration window, select execute. Wait a while until done. Now finish the server configuration. Click finish button. Return to product configuration window, the router configuration will start after click the next button. Just leave the default, click on finish. Last one sample and examples, next. Connect to server. Enter the root password, click on check button. Now showing server status connection succeeded, then next. Click on execute for apply configuration. Click finish. Product configuration window, click next again. Leave start workbench and shell check boxes, click on finish. After close window workbench and MySQL shell will open. Now I close the shell. I need to check the command line client, it's working or not. Open start. MySQL, command line client. Enter root password. Enter command show databases semicolon. Here showing all inbuilt databases. MySQL Workbench also working now. Thanks for watching my videos, subscribe me if you like this channel and please share if you like the video.